One of the coolest tools for creating YouTube content and vlogging is the Joby Gorillapod. But which one is right for you? In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down each of the current models, talking about the different price points, the different features, so you ultimately can make the right decision when leveling up your kit. Coming up. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of strategy videos on social media to help you build your influence faster, as well as tech gear reviews, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider smashing that subscribe button. So I have been a massive fan of Joby Gorillapods for the last few years. In fact, right out of scene here, is actually one of the older school SLR zooms that had the gray coloring and we've got a RGB light on it, but hey, I digress. But recently they've added a few new Gorillapods to their lineup. So I just wanted to go through the best Gorillapods for vlogging, depending on the size of your camera and your budget. And the first one is the Joby Gorillapod 1K. Now 1K stands for one kilogram of weight payload which is equivalent to 2.2 pounds. And I would recommend this one if you have a mini point and shoot camera that you wanna vlog with. On here is the Canon G7X Mark III. And this Gorillapod comes in at $20 here in the US. Now, if you wanna check out current prices, they vary. We'll put a link to all of these Gorillapods in the YouTube description below. So definitely check those out. And this is a pretty solid Gorillapod, but you'll notice that when you're on the lower end, you're usually dealing with pretty much plastic construction. There's plastic on the legs here, even a little mostly plastic through the actual mount itself. There isn't a quick release plate, so you have to basically screw your camera just on. None of those things are a huge deal, and this is a nice Gorillapod for just run and gun kind of vlogging with the point and shoot camera to give you some extra stabilization. And of course, also, if you're in a coffee shop, you're in an airport, it gives you the chance to table mount your setup so you could create content, speak to it, and like any of the Gorilla Pods, wrap them around a pole or a tree and things like that. So a good place to start, but not my favorite because of the all plastic construction. Which brings us next up to the Joby Gorillapod 3K. Of course, a three kilogram payload, which is 6.6 .6 pounds. And this is a $44 Gorillapod. Now I have a couple of these in my kit. I do love them, but one thing I notice is again, you're all plastic construction on the uh, legs here, which does kind of get loose over time. This guy's a little bit loose here. And the truth is eventually, uh, sometimes you will get a crack in one of the balls and it'll actually fall apart like this. Now the fact is you can actually reattach it relatively easy and even if it does does pop out. This is still a great Gorilla Pod that uh, is fully functional. I can use it. I'll put it on different kits. And on top of here is a Sony A5100. You know, about the same weight as this, a little bit heavier. What I would say is that on a 3K, even though it says it can hold 6.6 .6 pounds, while that's probably true if it's perfectly balanced, it's really not that stable if you start putting a heavier camera on there. For a lighter camera, like a Sony A5100, the Sony A6400 with maybe no accessories, you know, a Canon point and shoot camera, you're gonna get even kind of an upgrade from here. You can still wrap it around, you know, poles. And then the ball head is really nice. Having the ball head leveler, you know, the 1K has a ball head leveler, but it's kind of simplistic. It doesn't give you a whole range of motion. This ball head leveler is more aluminum and it, it's really great. You can just tighten it down, move it, tighten it down. It also gives you a little quick release plate. And so you can get it nice and tight on your camera. You have the leveler there if you want to actually make sure your shot is level. So you have quick and versatile operation with this Gorillapod. And again, I actually think this is a good buy at around $44 here in the US. It's not necessarily gonna last you for years, but then again, it might. If you're just gonna use it for mobile streaming, maybe you wanna get a little Vastar $7 um, kit like this. This is really what I shoot with a lot is uh, for mobile live streaming. Just in my office, I basically just have that set up. I mount my phone and I can move it around the house. And so a very good buy. Yes, it's plastic, but you get, you get what you pay for uh, and it should last you. Just ask yourself how much wear and tear do I plan on putting on this thing when you're thinking about investing. That brings us to Gorillapod number three and that is the newest in the lineup and that is the Joby 3K 
Pro. Now, this is my favorite in the whole setup. I am obsessed with this thing, I'm in love with it, and that probably comes as no surprise as it's the most expensive in the bunch, surprisingly, at $150 here in the US at the time of shooting this video. Now, I definitely see the prices fluctuate and they drop from time to time, and that seems kind of crazy for a little Gorillapod like this, but I think it's because the build quality backs it up. We're dealing with all aluminum ball joints here, and so this is the type of Gorillapod where you get what you pay for. You know, you don't have to buy one of these a year for three years, but you just buy one and use it for the next five. This thing can take a licking and keep on ticking. I've traveled with it to Tahoe, to Austin, on the road. And what's also pretty amazing about it is I trust the weight rating a little bit more. You know, it's a Joby 3K, so that's three kilograms, and it's 6.6 .6 pounds here in the US. But because it's so sturdy, it's so robust, I don't feel like the legs will just quickly bend. They won't, right? It has this real sturdiness to it where I don't mind putting my A7 III. In this case, this is an A6400, and this is, you know, my favorite vlogging rig right now. You've got this incredibly strong Joby uh, Gorillapod on there, the pro version. Similarly, it's all aluminum on the ball head, and they also added some other thoughtful um, aspects to the design here. The quick release plate is very slim, and it's intentionally made so it's not gonna block the battery door on any of your mirrorless cameras, especially Sony. Very slim on top, so it's just a, a, a low footprint there. They just put a ton of detail and thoughtfulness into this Gorillapod, and so this is the best buy, in my opinion, if you've got the budget, because again, I really believe it's gonna last you. You know, one thing to consider here is that while it's, a, yeah, it's about the same tallness of this uh, Gorillapod, this guy might get a little bit taller. The ball joints, everything's just a little bit bigger there. You know, at full height, we're, we're, it's about the same, but you can see this one's just a little more lean, uh, leaner on the ball joints uh, themselves. And so that is the Gorillapod 3K Pro and an absolute favorite of mine. If you're getting value out of this video so far, can you smash the like button? And if you actually wanna check out our video series about our favorite DSLR and mirrorless camera accessories, there's a lot of cool tech and gadgets that might help you take your video game to another level. So I'll link to that playlist on the YouTube card as well as post a link to it in the description below. But that brings us to our final Gorillapod and that is the Joby 5K. Now this guy has been out for a while and it actually is an absolute classic five kilograms of payload or 11 pounds. And so it's a fantastic Gorillapod if you've got a larger camera. This is a 60 Mark II, a bigger DSLR body with a heavy 16 to 35 L-glass lens on the front. And so an amazing uh, Gorillapod for that. It's all aluminum, it's very similar to the 3K in just a larger package. You've got um, the, uh, not only the really great ball head aluminum, you know, you get the different angles, tighten it down up here, but you also can loosen it here to get some panning shots. So this kind of enters in a video element that is really, really cool uh, with that second knob that is not found on either of the 3K models. And then you've got your quick release plate, which pops on and off. Again, it's not as lean as the new 3K. Nice and tight, huh? Um, and so it's kind of this X type of looking quick release plate. But what I love about these is sometimes on these uh, lower end models, the plastic quick release plates make me nervous if you're using a heavier camera. For a nice heavy camera, I mean, if you've invested $1,000 or more in a full frame camera or whatever it is, it's like you don't wanna cut corners on your Gorillapod setup. And so you're talking about pro construction from head to toe. And the other feature I love about this particular Gorillapod is just the fact that it gets taller than any of them. And so because I'm a bigger guy, if I'm um, shooting, on the road, vlogging at a you know picnic table or sitting down in a hotel somewhere, I'm able to get it to a higher level than any of the other ones. So I love having this in my kit as well, even if I'm using maybe a little bit of a smaller camera, just because the overall height is amazing. Now, the crazy thing about this Gorillapod is that at the time of shooting this video, I was able to find it for right around $100 or $90 on Amazon, maybe 
the actual price. And so you can check out current prices in the description. But I also love the section on Amazon that's like Amazon Warehouse or the used section. I mean, it might be open box, just a little bit of, you know, a scratch on there. I'm gonna scratch it up anyways. So you could probably get this for a great price. It's stunning that it could be as much as $50 or more less than the 3K. Uh, but I think that's because it's been out for a little while. The only downside really is how massive it is. And so uh, you may not want it to be this huge kind of logging setup. It's getting a little bit more bulky, but for maybe a pro video producer or doing other projects, having this in your kit is super versatile. So naturally my two favorites are the 3K and the 5K pro versions, right? But the 3K is kind of the ultimate because you get the best of both worlds. I almost feel like the payload on this guy could be sort of the same. Like it's so sturdy. It can ha handle so much weight. But I want to pass the question off to you. Which Gorillapod do you think is the best for vlogging? Or do you use a different brand or a different solution for your vlogging setup? Let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>